What's up? Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be discussing game loop and key mapping. Game loop is the only emulator that you can use without being banned on Call of Duty Mobile. I am pretty sure that Tencent Games and Activism they have something going on with game loop, and that is why you can no longer use it on Nox or uh, Blue Stacks. It will say that you're using third-party software and close down your account. Download game loop. It's a very easy process, just search game loop and download it. If you do not want to use game loop, you can just go to the web browser, type in Call of Duty Mobile and play it right from the browser, but you cannot use a controller. So after you download game loop, don't open it up, close it back down, plug in your controller to your PC and then restart game loop. Once you get into game loop, I have taken down some of my overlay over here. Let me make sure. Yes, it is down so you can see where I'm going on my mouse. And once you have it open, you're going to click right here and open that up. Now, something you can't see cuz my camera is in the way. You're going to see game you're going to see keypad, well, keyboard and gamepad. You're going to click on gamepad. And when you click on the gamepad, and if you don't, you can't see it. It's gonna be. Up there. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So click on your gamepad, come down here, and you're gonna check these two boxes. Alright, and then they're gonna appear down here. You can move these anywhere as you want on your screen. You do not have to put them where I have it. So the bigger one I brought over here, and the right one I brought up here. Okay, but you can put those two wherever you want. Now, for the rest of these, what you're going to do with your mouse is you are going to press your left click. All right? And that is how you bring that up. After, you're going to want to put all of these identical to where I have them because it works. Okay? If not, and you want to do this a little bit differently, you're going to have to load up Call of Duty on your mobile device and find out where these controls are. And in a game, go to bots, you're going to have to open up your your key map and then start readjusting and start clicking and start finding that spot. Okay? I will explain what all of these buttons do one by one. So right here, you are going to click and then grab your controller and press LB and RB at the same time. And that is for using your special abilities. Your left trigger is for aiming, your right trigger is for shooting, your B button, and what I use it for is for my knifing, okay? So my B button is for my knife. The A button is for jumping, the right joystick down. So push the right joystick down, that is for going prone. I do not crouch, I drop shot. If you want to crouch, you're going to have to possibly watch another video because I do not crouch, I drop shot the X is for reloading the RB is for my grenades the Y is for switching weapons up left down and right those are for my score streaks and the back button is for getting into my Goliath and then the start button is for setting off my tactical nukes now at the start of the game if you want to change weapons or a loadout you are going to have to do that with your mouse. If your mouse is not on your screen, just press your control button. It will pop up and then change your loadout to what you want. And then off you are in a game. If you are new to Call of Duty and you are at a high enough level, please join my XP. It's newly created. As you see, there's only one member. I just did it. And Eventually it will fill up and we can do some clan wars and get some pretty cool rewards out of the clan shop. I will be providing a link in the description below to join the Discord to party up. I will be providing three more videos. One will be on the Battle Royale loadout. Two will be for the settings on Game Loop for your, uh, well, for the Call of Duty Mobile settings that you should use to improve your game. And the third one will be how to clean up your PC so you don't get no lag on here. But game loop and with all emulators, you are going to have a little bit of lag in some games. It will just be a spike 
and I I will show some gameplay and other videos how to get past that spike. It, it ha doesn't happen every single game, but it does happen. All right, so GG, thank you for watching, and if this video has helped you, please leave that follow. I greatly appreciate it. I will be leaving a link in the description below for the Discord. Please join. And once again, remember, let's let's build this. I'd really appreciate it. All right, GG, everybody. Have a great day, and stay safe, and be blessed.